On the coast of the South China Sea lies the Portuguese named archipelago Formosa, better known by its Chinese name, Taiwan. A de facto country, home to 24 million inhabitants, with its own flag, national anthem, currency, language and institutions. Taiwan, a mere 100 miles from the coast of the Republic of China, considered a rebellious province that might be brought back under control. Taiwan is being carefully surveyed. Tous les actes et tous les stratagèmes visant à séparer la Chine sont voués à l'échec et s'exposeront à la condamnation populaire et à la punition de l'histoire. For Beijing, the policy is simple. One country, two systems. Taiwan must fall in line, but may retain their economic and political autonomy. Taiwan is on the front line. Taiwan is a democracy guarding against the expansion of Chinese authoritarianism. And Taiwan needs to stand tall uh, in the face of the Chinese onslaught, even though the Chinese government, including President Xi Jinping himself, uh, they want to impose one country, two system model on Taiwan. But Taiwanese always say, no way. On the evening of the 11th of January, 2020, amid international tensions, large crowds gathered in the center of Taiwan's capital city, Taipei, to watch the presidential election results, a crucial event for Taiwan's future. <laughs> A record-breaking 8 million voters placed their trust in the independent policies of outgoing President Tsai Ing-wen, Beijing's least popular politician. This victory belongs not just to Tsai Ing-wen, but to an entire social network and internet generation who continue to use these tools to resist the threat presented by China. So-called hacktivists, programmers and engineer militants working together to consolidate a true and transparent democracy currently under construction. Democracy is a set of technologies, of course, going into the uh, voting booth. All these are mechanisms designed to be better reflect the actuality of the policy, that what people perceive the world is, and also what the common problems are and what common solutions are, and uh, to increase the bandwidth, that is to say, the available input into the collective decision-making by everybody. The reality of a political world where the Chinese threat is ever-present. Will the Taiwanese be able to stand their ground? How will Beijing react? And just how strong is this democratic experiment in the heart of the Chinese world?